Escape Room tells the story of six strangers who play an escape room type game that turns out to be for real in the sense that they're really in danger and they have to figure out a way to escape, you know, the room and the successive rooms in the puzzle before they get killed because the stakes are way higher than they expected. And of course, there's a mystery at the end as to why this is happening and, you know, I'll leave that for later, you know, why this is happening and who's setting it up and how. But basically, you may be wondering, should you go see it? And I actually think that, yeah, I think it's pretty decent. I mean, it's certainly not a perfect movie. It's thrilling and suspenseful, you know, that's, it's the kind of movie you expect, like a horror or a thriller kind of movie. It delivers that. The plot and the premise, it makes sense on one level, like when you find out how this all happened. But then when you think about it, it's not feasible for something to be set up this way in real life and work the way it does. It could only happen in a movie, but if I say too much more than that, you know, I might give away plot details and this isn't a spoiler review. So, you know, I get it from a script standpoint why they had to make it the way they did to make a movie like this work. But logistically, in real life, I don't think that any person or group of people or whomever or aliens from outer space or whatever could make this happen the way it does in the movie and be able to get away with it. <laughs> but it's about as plausible if you've seen Saw as how this one dude and his assistants can be kidnapping like anybody else in the world and putting them in these elaborate puzzles and get away with it like every movie and stuff. So I guess, you know, if it works for the Saw franchise, it goes for like a bajillion movies, like six, seven, eight movies. This can work and, you know, audiences can keep eating that up. It can work here. My performances are all good. I mean, I thought the acting was good. And if you're someone who likes comic books and Marvel and the MCU or the Netflix Marvel, Deborah Ann Wool, who was in Daredevil as Karen, she's in here with a pretty prominent role. And, um, you know, there's that one girl... The lead star is this girl named Taylor Russell, I think, who was in Lost in Space. That's another sci-fi property, so you might recognize her face. So in short, Escape Room isn't that deep of a movie, but it is thrilling and suspenseful and the performances are good. And it's exactly the kind of movie that you expect if you've seen previews for it. It's not one of those movies where you see it and it turns out to be something else. Truth in advertising in this one. And I think it's pretty decent, so check it out.